Okay, so <clears throat> got pretty much all the trash taken out of here now. There's still a couple little things here and there. So now it looks, um, unfortunately, this looks like they they just concreted like this. So that's gonna be a pain. Um, it's like the wood right there is like rotting because you know wood and water don't mix. Um, oh, this is just disgusting. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to cut all this out. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. I mean, I suppose like I could just, cause I I plan on making the shower go from there all the way to there. Cause this is stupid how they've got it. It's like, I don't know. and it's like you know the 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 shower insert deals that you can get are cheap. Like, you know, a couple hundred bucks for, like, a cheapy one. For, like, especially, like, if you wanted to just have a small shower like this. Don't do this. This is grody. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to... I think I might um, hold off to tear this out. Um, I don't have my dust mask with me. Uh, or respirator, more more so. Is like there's like some mold and stuff, um, and it just it feels gross, like just the. So, because I'm probably gonna be dealing with mold in this, I'm gonna hold off on tearing all this out. Um, and I suppose uh, I'll just keep on going on other things for now. Uh, oh yeah, um, get these. Like, uh, nifty, like, uh, hanging lights at Menards that are only, like, 20 bucks. Because it, I mean, the big part of, like, coming into this bathroom is, like, it's so dark. Like, if I turn that light off, like, like, I'd be scared to take a shit in here. Goddamn crackhead be help hiding back in here or something. But, uh, yeah, so I got that light in here for now, because, uh, I mean, all the light fixtures in the house are going to end up changing. Um, I'll end up putting in, uh, can lighting in here, um, as well as, like, there's no, uh, bathroom vent in here either, um, so I'll end up putting one of those in. But yeah, that's the update on bathroom cleanup. Um, you know, we did the stairs last week. Well, just a couple days ago. And I uh, started getting all those decorative beam deals off. I've just been cutting them up and throwing them down into the other area. So... I mean, you see, like okay. I just been throwing them down into there and splitting them up and burning them. But yeah, um, I've been pleasantly surprised. Like, I, I actually got a couple of uh, thermometers to put around the house. And, like, it's been staying about, like, 60 degrees in here with just that little heater that we put into uh, the basement. So, that's been nice. But yeah, that's the update for now. Um, I gotta... I'm gonna continue to just kind of start, keep taking trash out. Um, that's what I've been doing all morning, pretty much. Um, I mean, there's tons of little stuff, but I need to get... Um, a better broom. The broom that I have here is just terrible it was one that was left here so anyways uh for now that'll be it um
just picked up a trailer so that we can start getting some of the bigger lumber stuff. You know, she's uh, ugly, rusted, but the trailer and that'll work. So uh, we'll just uh, make do and I'll probably, over the summer, I'll probably clean up the frame, repaint it, um, maybe take the rims and tires off and uh, clean those up. I mean, the tires actually look pretty decent. So there's that, it's just the rims are ugly. But we'll do a full go through on it when it gets warmer out. Um, and of course it's covered in snow and I'm about to get a bunch of lumber, but you know what, it'll be fine. Lumber can get a little wet, that's okay. All right, so we got the new trailer put to work. Oh, I really need to get that drop hitch though. I mean, I'm just a couple inches from the ground on the back end there. Big Blue, you're too tall. Oh well. So now I have the long and arduous task of carrying all that lumber into the house. Oh, it kind of sucks like that uh, I have this dumpster here now. I mean, it's great having the dumpster and all, but uh, it's a little inconvenient right now because it's like otherwise I would have, you know, backed the trailer in right here and it would have been like, you know, just right there to take everything in. But yeah, that's the way things go. You know can't have everything so i'm just gonna deal with it and you know yeah you just take your time it'll be fine it'll just take me a little bit longer it's not too bad of a day out today i think it's like 20 degrees so a little little decent it could be worse so i'll uh get loading all this and then uh this next week i'll be able to just start really just go into town like building stuff because i'll just have all the material that i need so it'll be fun it'll be worth it you know it's definitely uh times like this that uh makes you think why the hell do i do the things that i do but when you're done doing those things it's like oh well that was great let's do that again but this stuff right here makes me makes me question myself. It's a lot of work doing this by yourself. is in oh that was exhausting you know carrying you know that much by yourself really sucks but if you don't have one of these like little panel carriers and you are gonna have to carry like a bunch of panels especially by yourself these make things so much easier and they're cheap. I think it was only like 15 bucks or something like that. I've had the dang thing for a long time because I like the idea of it. And I honestly don't think I ever used it. But uh, luckily I had it in one of my tubs. Um, and I remembered seeing it in there and I grabbed it. And oh my god, it made it so much easier to carry all of these panels. Oh, jeez. That was... Uh, that would have been... A lot more wear and tear on my back if I hadn't had that. So, oh. um, but yeah, I mean that's you know pretty well good setup for this next week. Um, 
the next thing I'm going to be doing is making stairs down to the basement because there are none. Um, need to get that squared away. Um, so we'll, I'll, I'll, that'll be the next video is um, making stairs. So that'll be, you know, fun because then I can get all the garbage out from there. So that'll be good. And then I can start working on the plumbing because right now, I don't know if you've ever done plumbing, but it never goes like smoothly. Like you always need a million things and you always have to go back to the hardware store like a hundred times. So I'm just anticipating that and being up and down from the basement a lot. So I really want to get stairs so that um, it makes my life a lot easier. Especially because I took a digger the other day, other week, and um, my tailbone hurts. And it hurts to go up and down ladders right now. So I don't want to do it. <sighs> but yeah, you can see a bunch of the woods hanging out into this room, which is fine. Oh yeah, and I brought over all my cardboard because, you know, fire starter. Get rid of all that. Recycling. But yeah, that'll be it for this week, I think. Um, and I'll be hitting it hard again tomorrow and getting on those stairs. So that'll be a good time. And it'll probably take me a day or two, I am guessing, uh, to get it. And I want to clean these stairs up too. And the stairs going up there, like... I don't like this open deal, like, on the stairs. Um, I want to close that up. And the same thing on these ones. Um, I'm not decided whether uh, I want to replace these stairs, just paint them, or I'm just going to, you know, put the, like, back part in there, and maybe do full carpet. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. It, it's detail stuff. Like, that doesn't really matter right now because I'm trying to get the major stuff done. So, that'll be... I'll get plenty of time to think about it. But, anyways, we got wood. You know, it's always good. So, that'll be it for this week. And we'll go into next week getting a ton of stuff done. So, that'll be a lot of fun.